Masha's Tales. No, my little toy friends, I can't play with you right now. I am protecting the vegetable garden from all the pests. Okay, never mind. I wouldn't want you to get bored. So let me tell you a fairy tale. Jack and the Beanstalk. There was a poor widow who lived in a village, and she had a son named Jack. The widow and her son spent all day long digging in their vegetable garden. Whatever grew in that vegetable garden, that was what they ate. Then the time came for Jack to get married. There was as many maids in the village as there were carrots in the patches. Only all of them turned Jack down. It's no wonder they refused to marry him. Who would have wanted a groom like that? His pants were torn and had patches. His shoes had holes in the soles, and his hat was as flat as a pancake. No one would marry him. No one would even go out with poor Jack. The widow knew he needed nicer clothes, but there was no money. So she thought about it. She thought very hard and very long, and then she said, "Jack, my dear boy, if you want to get married, you need to look presentable." I've thought long and hard about this, and there's nothing left to do but to sell our spotted cow. With the money you get, you can buy yourself a new suit. So Jack put a leash on the cow and headed to the market. But the road was long and tiring. He was halfway to the market when he got tired and lay down under a tree to rest. Just when he started to doze off, he felt something poking at his side. He opened his eyes and saw an old maid. Jack was very surprised, and the old man told him, "My boy, let me buy this spotted cow of yours, and in exchange for your cow, I'll give you a nice little bean." To tell you the truth, Jack really didn't want to walk for miles and miles to the marketplace to sell his spotted cow. So, without further ado, he agreed to this deal. Jack and the old man shook hands. The old man got the cow. Jack got the bean, and pleased with himself, he headed for home. When the widow saw her son without the cow and without a suit, she got very, very scared. She thought he'd been robbed by the highwayman. But Jack told her, "Don't you worry, mother. Just look what I got in exchange for your old spotted cow. I got a brand new little bean, and I have never seen a nicer shade of green." The widow just threw her hands in the air and said, "Oh, what a simpleton you are, my son!" Then she grabbed the bean and threw it out the window. Jack was really surprised. Why did she get so upset? He yawned and quickly went to sleep. When Jack woke up in the morning and looked outside his window, he couldn't believe his eyes. Overnight, the bean had grown up to a humongous, enormous bean tree. The bean tree was so big and tall that its top reached all the way to the clouds high up in the sky. Jack could hear a song coming down from the clouds. He was curious to know who could be up there singing the song. So Jack started to climb up the bean tree. He fell down once. He fell down twice. Should he give it another try? Why bother? Hey, you up there! Shouted Jack. Can you tell me how to climb this bean tree? For some reason, I kept falling and falling. There was no answer for a while, and then a strange-looking rope was thrown down to him from above. Jack looked closely and saw this rope resembled a girl's braid. Jack was so happy he gave the braid a good yank, and a beautiful princess fell down and landed right next to him. As it turned out, it was really her braid. The princess straightened out her crown, curtsied, and said. I probably have bruises all over my body because I slept on all those beans. Thank you, my good friend, for bringing me down off the tree. I am so grateful. I am ready to be your bride. That's how it came to be that Jack got married, became a king, and got half a kingdom too. That's what I'm telling you. 
Maybe I will grow something very interesting in my vegetable patch, too. Just like Jack. But I have to make sure no pests get into my beautiful garden. So I'll say goodbye now. I have to go stand guard. Thank you.